Hello YouTube, RJ. Hey, one of my uh, subscribers posted a comment to my video that I posted uh, earlier today about the little frequency counter from AliExpress. And he pointed out that, you know, you can calibrate that, he says, basically. I'm paraphrasing. You can read the comment yourself. He was telling me that there's a 13 megahertz uh, oscillator on here, which there is. If we look right here, you can see it's an oven oven controlled clock but there's a potentiometer right here for calibration I, I went and looked and did a little research and it appears this is for frequency calibration to try to get this at exactly 13 megahertz now i don't know how sensitive it is i'm maybe fixing to make a big mistake and screw this all up but you know i'm working around the house today and i took a break and i thought you know i'm going to go ahead and give that a try Let, let's let's see what happens you know, it may be too sensitive and I may end up making it worse. You know, it was fairly accurate. I, I didn't think it was a, you know, way off, but it'd be nice to have it more accurate. So let's power this thing up and get us uh, 30 megahertz going back into it, just like before. Okay, <clears throat> let's let her warm up a minute. And I will try to see what we can do. Now this is going to be interesting because it's uh, going to be hard for me to be on this and seeing the frequency probably. Let's see here. I can kind of see that. Get it where you guys can see it. Let's see what happens if I don't short anything out down here where I got... Oops. That's the wrong way. That's the correct way. Let's see if we can get this thing dead on the money. It's not that touchy, actually. Actually, it's a. Uh, I made quite a bit of a turn here to get it. I think I'm maxing out. I am. That's it. That's all we can get. That's going to be that's going to be the most change I can make. There's not enough movement in the not enough movement. Let me get something to make this stay up. Hang on just a moment. Let's see if this packs and we can get this to lay in there and keep these from shorting anything and Okay, so that's the best I could get. 29.999966. So we're 34 hertz off at 30 megahertz. And let's uh, drop her to 20. Let's drop her to 10. We're about 10 hertz off there at 10. I wonder if I go to 13, which is its calibration point, where we look. Okay. 986, so 14 hertz. Not too bad. Let's take her to 5, see what she's at now. Okay, at 5 megahertz, we are about 5 hertz off. And at 1 hertz, we are almost dead on. It's going back and forth. So, that's not too bad. We made an improvement there. Run back up. Where do we end up at 30? Now I wonder after this warms up, you know, what change there'll be. And maybe I'll stop here and pop back in, give this, leave this run at about an hour, come back and see where we are. Might be interesting to see what temperature does as it warms up over time. We're, um, let's see, where are we at here? 
we're at 32. 32 hertz off. Now, knowing me, I might not remember that when I come back. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to take this little book here. And I'm going to mark it as minus 32 hertz at 30 megahertz. I'll leave that right there. And let's see where we end up, uh, say, in an hour. So I'll be back in an hour. We'll see what we get. All right, I'm back. My timer went off. It's been an hour. Doesn't look like we moved much. Um, I wrote down just before, after I turned the video off, 29.99968 is where we were. We're now 7172. So, you know, an hour of operation hasn't really changed it much. I would like to try to adjust again, except I know there's no use because I had maxed out the potentiometer and I'm not quite high enough. So, um, definitely better than we were. I'm going to uh, drop it down to one megahertz now. We're basically the same place. It's just a little low, less than a hertz. And this is, I would say this is probably because, you know, the way that these counters work is through gating of the clock signal. So, you know, if you think of a million and you think of one hertz, you, you literally, where your gating hits could, uh, could hit one side of the next clock, just the side of the next clock or, or in that clock or at the far extreme of that clock. And because of that, depending on where it fell, you might see this kind of back and forth type action. I'm, I'm guessing probably that's likely what we're looking at. Still very impressed. In fact, more impressed. Um, so let's go back to 30 megahertz. And what are we talking here? We're talking 28 hertz. That's a pretty darn accurate. So anyway, there you go. You can adjust these. Uh, maybe if you buy one, you might be able to go far enough to get it accurate dead on. Um, the adjustment I was worried would be jumpy. It's not. It's nice and smooth. It doesn't move that much. Uh, worth messing with if you want to play around. If you've got an accurate source to give you a really accurate frequency. Just a little follow-up. Wanted to give that a try. That way uh, now you know if you want to play around and adjust one. If you've got a way to do it, now you know. So thanks for tuning in again. Uh, hopefully we'll catch you in the next video.